Today we're in Honolulu and we're visiting Pearl Harbor. There is so much to see at Pearl Harbor. There are four sites and each one takes approximately two hours to view properly, so plan your visit. On the morning of December the 7th in 1941, explosions shattered the Sunday morning calm of Oahu. Japanese planes first attacked the airfields to destroy aircraft still on the ground. Then they converged on Pearl Harbor. Dive bombers screamed down and heavily damaged the seaplane base at the left end of Ford Island. On the far side of the island, torpedo bombers attacked the Utah. On this side, they repeatedly struck Battleship Row. High-level bombers then stormed in to bomb battleships that torpedoes could not reach. One bomb detonated the Arizona's forward magazines. The ship exploded in a huge fireball. This whole park is a memorial to the people that lost their lives and there are lists and lists of them here. So sad. Arguably, Elvis Presley was one of the most important supporters of the monument to Pearl Harbor. He performed a charity concert at its very foundation and many times when he returned to Hawaii, he would perform a charity concert to help raise funds. It's amazing how many vessels were lost and how many personnel during the conflict. Pearl Harbor remains the US Navy's most important island base in the Pacific. It serves as a headquarters for the US Pacific Fleet and as a world port supporting other naval forces. You can often spot many types of warships here from destroyers and cruisers to submarines and aircraft carriers. The information here implies that the US no longer have destroyers. They now have aircraft carriers because sea power is air power. This is a Mark 14 steam-driven torpedo. So you get a chance to have a look at a proper submarine. The USS Bofin SS-287. Come and take a look inside. So what was it like inside a submarine? Probably not as pleasant as it seems when you can get in and out this easily. I should imagine it was very cramped. I see no ships. It's amazing how crude the aiming mechanism is, but it obviously worked. This, I can't believe this, is a Japanese suicide torpedo. So there's a little window down there, and so they sat in the torpedo and were killed. I find this absolutely horrific. This is where they sat. This is a three-inch 50 gun. I find it absolutely horrifying to think that people actually sat here and killed people. This is a Tomahawk cruise missile. This is the aircraft museum and it's $12 to go around or $8 if you're in your golden years. If you're an enthusiast, you can easily spend a day here. There are an endless number of exhibitions, museums, and film shows. Pearl Harbor got its name because of the pearl industry, and behind me is a stall selling pearls. Have to get a fridge magnet. Useful tip, if you're visiting Pearl Harbor and you don't need to bring a bag, don't bring one because they make you check it in at the door. So the Arcadia cruise came up the Panama Canal, around to Los Angeles, across to Pearl Harbor, and then it's going to Tahiti, down here.